Hello YouTube! This video will walk through how to add more register sheets to my Excel checkbook spreadsheet. If you follow all the steps, it will probably take you 10 to 15 minutes and you'll likely learn a few Excel tricks along the way. This video will be focused on doing this with the 2024 version of my checkbook register. I do want to mention that if you are using the older 2023 version, seen here, which has separate tabs for dashboards, you can easily copy an existing register worksheet to create more and it should work just fine, but I won't be covering how to create additional dashboards in the older 2023 version, as it's pretty complex. Instead, this video will focus on the 2024 version of the checkbook spreadsheet. As a quick summary, we'll go through how to copy an existing register sheet, how to update a few things in the Excel name manager, add another row to the reconcile sheet, and finally update the Power Query in Excel so that the dashboard recognizes any newly added register sheets. Let's get started. I have the sample Excel checkbook register spreadsheet opened up on my screen, which features uh, five register sheets. So the first step that I want to follow is just to copy one of the existing register worksheets. It really doesn't matter which one, but I'll, I'll go ahead and make use of register five. So if I do a right click on register five, uh, I want to go to the move or copy choice and uh, I want my uh, new register to be before the Reconcile sheet after Reconcile 5. And I definitely want to make sure I ch click that checkbox to create a copy. All right, so, so there's my copy. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is do another right click on that new sheet and go to the rename choice and uh, just use my, my arrow keys or mouse there to get my cursor in place. and and just make sure it says just register six. Uh, I could go ahead and give it, you know, the name of the bank account or whatever that I want, but uh, for simplicity, I'll just go ahead and call it register six and hit the enter key to make that change. And up here in the top, you know, probably would also want to make some kind of a change to what it is. Um, lastly, um, uh, you may want to change some colors just to make it stand out uh, a little different. Uh, so for example, maybe you'd want to just change the, uh, the, column headings here. So if I highlight that row and go to the uh, the fill button and you know, maybe again, I just want to pick out some other slightly different uh, color there to make it stand out. All right. Well, since I'm going through the trouble of creating an additional register sheet, I'm going to go ahead and create a, a yet another one. So um, it does, again, it doesn't really matter which one I start with. I'll do it that right click again on register five, choose the mover copy. I want it to come before reconcile. I want it, want it to be copy, so I'll click OK. There it is. I'm going to do the right click again, go to rename, and use my arrow keys to get there to the end, make it a register 7, hit enter, and again, you know, make a little change up here. It also represent that it's register number 7. All right, now, next thing you want to do is update the table names for any newly added register sheets. So uh, these are formatted as tables in Excel. So you should have a menu choice for table design. As long as your cell, as long as your cursor is in one of the cells of the table, you should see again, menu choice for table design. I'm gonna visit that menu choice. And up here is a place to specify the table name. In the case of the first five registers, they all have table names of register one or register two, etc. I'm currently at register seven worksheet. And I do wanna click up here and just make that say register seven and hit enter. And I'm gonna do the same thing for register six, still here on the table design menu. And I want that to be register six. Now it, it, it's actually kind of important that you leave these tables with those simple table names, register one through register seven, but certainly feel free to rename the tabs to something more meaningful and feel free to you know, put in a different uh, description line but for some technical reasons, it's definitely easier just to make sure that the table names are just simply register uh, and then a, a number. All right, the, the next step that we'll need to do is to visit the formulas menu and go to name manager. Now, uh, here in the name manager, there are quite a number of existing uh, predefined names that this spreadsheet has. Um, you'll also see that here are the, uh, the, the table names. We were just visiting uh, that, you know, make sure each table had a unique name. Uh, but then there are these um, predefined names here called reg one name, reg two name, etc. 
Now, because we copied an existing worksheet, um, we do have uh, this contradiction here. We've got multiple names of reg5 name that then refer to you know different registers and uh, different cell ranges, and we need to fix that. Now, this entry here in my case, this is the correct entry for register 5. Uh, reg5 name refers to register 5, and the area or sheet that it's referring to is also correctly specified. These two are wrong. And um, actually, if you try to just simply edit and fix them, it doesn't work. You actually have to delete them and recreate them. Now, before I do, um, I'm going to make my life a little bit easier. And this section right here is correct. So I'm just going to use my mouse, mouse over that. I want to copy that to my clipboard, either using Control C or on a Mac, it's Command C, or if I do a right click, uh, and you click copy, that'll put it in my, my clipboard. All right, um, so this one, again, it's wrong, and I need to delete it. Okay, so I delete it, and now I'm going to go ahead and click New and create the correct name. So it needs to be Reg7 name in this case, and it's going to refer to, so I'm going to uh, highlight, delete that out, and paste from my clipboard. So that is the correct reference right there. Click OK, and there we go. So that Reg7 name is now correctly pointing to Register 7 and this area of the worksheet. And now this one is still wrong. So once again, I'm going to highlight that with my mouse, copy it to my clipboard, and then delete this invalid uh, name entry. And then go to New and put in Reg6 name and then come down here and then paste in uh, that value. Okay, and then just going to do a real quick examination, make sure that they all look uh, right. So reg5 name, register5, register5, reg6 name, etc. Yep, that all looks good. So we can now close out of the name manager. Now there are a couple reasons that we needed to do that. One will be related to the worksheet called Future and Transactions, where we've got you know a drop down over here which currently still only sees the first five registers or whatever you might have renamed yours to be. Um, you know, this is just using the Excel data, valid, data validation feature that you can find under the data menu, data validation. That's referring to uh, this uh, source called sheet names. All right, so, so where is that? So uh, we need to scroll way over here on the worksheet. So we're going to use this arrow key or error indicator over here, and we need to find this worksheet called All Registers. So we'll click on that. And, and here on this worksheet called All Registers, there's an entry right here, and it's kind of titled Register Names for Data Validation List. So I'm going to click down there in that last cell and hit my Tab key. In fact, I'm going to do that twice. I want uh, two extra rows in there. And when I click back on this one, you'll notice up here in the formula bar is saying reg1 name. So I'm going to correct that and say reg6 name. And also down here for the next one, correct that one and say reg7 name. Hit enter. Now keep in mind, uh, again, you, you might have already started to rename your worksheets to different things. And the, the reason we're doing all this is to give you the flexibility of, at any point, just renaming your worksheets, but having everything still work correctly. For, so for example, if I suddenly decided that register seven, I wanted it to be called something else, like uh, let's say right click rename and call it the chase, you know, checking as an example. Now, as soon as I did that and hit the enter key uh, back here, notice that it's actually got that reflected. And if I go to future transactions and click in the list, there's again, uh, reflected that way. All right, now for the sake of the rest of the video, um, I'm going to actually go back and rename this back to Register 7 uh, just to make things a little more easy to follow as we continue with a couple additional steps. All right, so the, the next thing I need to do is visit the Reconcile worksheet. And here we currently have just uh, five rows or, or five entries for up through Register 5. So we need to add Register 6 and Register 7 uh, to this, this table. So what I'm going to do is click my cursor here in this last row, hit my tab key, and that's creating an extra row in the table. I'm going to do it again, um, last cell there, hit tab, and now I've got um, this, which of course we need to fix. So first I'm just going to put a, oops, a 6 and a 7, 
there. And then next, when I click over here, notice it's got just reg name, uh, reg one name. So we want that to be reg six name, and this one is reg seven name. And again, you know, if you, you know, rename the, the actual sheets, this will automatically uh, update as it should. All right, this next part is going to get a tad more complicated. So there are um, formulas in all four of these cells, and they're fairly complex. The formulas are referencing, uh, in this case, register 3, register 3, register 3. And that's actually referring to the table name rather than the worksheet name. So um, we need to stick with that. So what I'm going to do here is click down to the next cell. And, and by the way, depending on you know the age of your uh, Excel checkbook register that you download, you might want to just double check to make sure that like for the register for row is the formula correctly referencing register for, register for, register for. Uh, and there was an earlier bug uh, in there. Anyway, so we're going to come down to here, get down to register six. Okay, we don't have the formulas there at all. So what I'm going to do is mouse all the way over here and then drag the little bottom, uh, grab and drag the bottom corner and pull that down. And what it's done is it has automatically, you know, copied that formula, you know, down through all these other cells. But they're referencing the wrong registers. Okay. So here I am in register six and I need to click my cursor up here and just start making a change to make sure it's saying, you know, register six instead of register five uh, for any place that uh, that is referenced. Okay, so hit enter, got that, and now I need to do that again, just all the way across. So uh, this might be one of the the more time-consuming parts of the process. All right, so now that I'm done, it's a good idea just to, you know, quick quick review of those formulas, making sure that the, the register numbers are being correctly reflected. Okay, and before we move away from the sheet, uh, by the way, if you happen to see the little, little green uh, corner thing there, uh, it's just trying to tell us that uh, it thinks there's something a little inconsistent. And if I click the little triangle there and say, you know, just you can ignore that, it's okay, and I'll click down here. Click the yellow triangle again tell it to ignore the error because um, everything is uh, correct the way we want it to be. All right, now for the final step, we need to make sure the dashboard is going to correctly work and to recognize the newly added register worksheets. And this will involve launching the Excel Power Query and just making a few um, edits and entries uh, to fix things. Okay, so we would need to visit the data menu and then under Get Data. There's a choice for Launch Power Query Editor. When this comes up, if you happen to see these warnings, these yellow uh, triangular warnings, then um, there's another step we should do first, which is to correctly set the data source. So I'm going to close this Power Query Editor. And for this next step, yeah, I do recommend that you make sure that you have given your Excel checkbook is permanent file name that you prefer and that it's in whatever folder location you want to be the permanent home. Okay, so we need to go visit the Get Data menu and this time go to Data Source Settings. And we, we need to update the, the data source uh, uh, source. So we're going to visit this Change Source button. We're going to visit the Browse button. You know, and I might need to go browse to a particular folder that my spreadsheets in, but once I find it, I'm just going to uh, click on it and choose import and click OK. And then click close on the data source settings screen. And as a uh, one last quick step, um, I want to use the save button to make sure I make a, a save to that change. Okay, after doing that, now when I go back to the data, get data menu and launch the Power Query Editor, I no longer see the uh, yellow exclamation uh, warnings. Um, and currently, the Power Query Editor only shows registers 1 through 5, along with a choice for all registers. 
And in order for the dashboard to see the newly added register worksheets, uh, we're going to make a copy of one of the existing ones and then edit it. So here I'm going to do a right click on register 5 and there's a choice to duplicate. And here's my duplicate and uh, now I'm going to do a right click and choose rename and get my cursor there at the end of the line, back up and hit make it register 6 and hit the enter key. All right, and while still highlighting register 6, over here on the side, we've got um, an area called Applied Steps, and the source will list the file name where your permanent spreadsheet is, and under Navigation is where it's, it knows what table uh, should this refer to, and that's where we need to click up there and make that correct. Instead of register 5, it's register 6. And if I just now just kind of click away to another entry, um, you know, it's, it's all good. All right, now since I did this example with creating two additional sheets, we're going to do that one more time. Uh, again, it doesn't really much matter too much which one I uh, duplicate, but I'll stick with register 5. Do right-click, duplicate. There's my duplicate. I'm going to right-click, go to rename, click my cursor at the end, and this is register 7. So type that in, hit enter, and while still highlighting register 7, I'm going to go to the navigation step and then click up here and make sure that it's pointing to the correct table name of register 7. All right, the last step for us to do before we leave Power Query Editor is to edit this um, entry called All Registers. Uh, all Registers is meant to combine all of your spreadsheet registers into one large table. Uh, for the dashboard. Okay, so while highlighting all registers, we're going to go to the source uh, for the applied steps, and you'll notice up here it's mentioning register 1 through register 5, and we're going to click our cursor there at the end and move to the end there of register 5 and type in a comma and then start typing in register 6, another comma, space, register 7. Okay, now I'm just going to click away from that area. And we're going to use this uh, close and load button. Just click, a, click on the very top there for close and load. Okay, now after doing that, you might see this window pop up here, queries and connections, where it does now list uh, all seven registers along with uh, all registers. And we can just you know close that if you happen to see that pop up on your screen. Now that completes the process of creating additional register sheets within the checkbook spreadsheet. And a quick note that the dashboard only shows registers that have uh, some data in it, so that's why we're only seeing uh, register 1, because it just happens to be that here in the sample, that's the only worksheet that really has any, uh, any significant sample data in its side. Now as a quick test, I just visited all seven registers just to put a couple sample transactions so that there's something in all seven. And I do want to mention here in the dashboard, now I've not yet saved uh, my file. And if I click on the Refresh Charts button, um, it's not yet seeing anything. So it is important that you know, before refreshing the dashboard, you know, click your Excel Save button. And then when you go to do the Refresh Charts, you know, should see um, all of your, your spreadsheets. All right, so hope this has been helpful. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, happy spreadsheeting.